Welcome back, people. In this video, I'm gonna cover three different things that I wish I knew earlier when taking a common moped like this Tomas here, changing three different things, and just making it look dope. Just making it look a lot better. Let's start with the easiest thing that you could possibly do to your moped, the handlebars. If you notice, these bars are the stock bars, way up high, and just the overall feel of them is a little grandma. We're gonna try something different, a little more aggressive. That's fine, they're fine. Nice hike. Clearly step one is not done. We're gonna do some like cable shortening so that everything like matches real nice. We're gonna leave this as is. We're gonna move on to step two. Headlight, speedo dash. We're gonna change this up with an all-encompassing, compact, super vintage looking. <laughs> Bullet headlight. Next day, this is sort of a two day project. I did a couple more things, turn signals. I chopped the bars a little bit. I set the control where it makes sense and then anything extra, I cut off. It's nice and clean and compact. Gotta dress the cables and the wires and hook it all back up. Then we're gonna move on to the third and final part of this video, which is the rear end. First, let's take care of all these wires. Time lapse activated. <laughs> The wiring's done, and I said I was gonna move on to the back end, but I'm obsessed. This is a bonus. This is a little bit extra. I'm sort of like in it, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share this with you. This is a bonus fourth thing. Everything to do with the front fender. Some people run no fender, don't advise it. I don't like that. For good reasons, the fender helps prevent stuff from flying in your face. Water, specifically. I've been told that certain parts of the country, or maybe the world, it doesn't rain, so the fender is not needed. But I'm coming from New York and Florida, and there is rain often, so fender. Love the idea of a fender. Can we make it look better? The stock A35 fender looks like this. This is what we got going, very complete. A55 style, a little more subtle. This is where you want the coverage. I think this looks better. But how are we gonna do this? These fenders mount to the fork completely different ways. How, did, how are we gonna do this? With some ingenuity, we came up with a bracket solution. Rough sketch, fine-tuned in CAD, this bracket will bolt on A55 fender onto the A35 fork. After we printed it out on the plasma cutter and then a little paint, ooh, yes. So that's what you're gonna see next. We're gonna attach on the sleek A55 style fender on the old A35 style fork. A product that I'm gonna put on the website. I don't think this exists, so it will be on the website. Link will be in the description below. You can purchase a pair of these. Upgrade your fender on your old Tomos. Nice. 
neat, simple, 855 fender on an 835 fork. back end. I'm going to change this tail light. Something a little more incognito. Something that kind of sits in this section. Losing the turn signals. We're going to put on the little turn signals like we got in the front. This rack will have to go as well. Got another rack that's a little more slender, a little more minimal. Finish it all off and really clean up the back. This fender, there's almost some touching involved. So we're gonna chop this fender so that it matches the front. This whole thing is all about being matchy. And remember, everything I'm using in this video is gonna be on our website if you want to buy these pieces and put them on your own bike. Like the turn signals. I like these with rubber mount. Can't break these. Link in the description below. Fender's been a problem. You could kind of see all this black, the tire rubbing. Cause this fender's a little small for this tire. This tire is a larger tire. Gotta figure out how to make up for that. the rest by hand, kept on getting jammed, but boom. You had to get a helping hand. We were doing it by hand, oh. not by myself. Titanium Dave. So now that I've chopped this up, essentially I'm sort of rotating it into the bike more. Like that. Punch out some new holes in those spots so that it mounts. Fast forward an hour later, I got it on. Just where I want it. A little tough. I spent the next hour putting together the taillight assembly. Ooh, look at that. Turn signals all set up. Ooh. We're almost done. We're getting there. It's close. The, the end is coming. Looks good. Looks good. I'm gonna do a couple more things. Removing the sticker, put on a new one. That'll be super cleaned up. That's my last detail. Those simple things are the ones to make a bike go from good to gold. From good to gold, handlebars, headlight, tail light, fender. Those are the ones. Mopeds are, are like uh, blank canvases. This is what you're starting with, but you could do whatever you want. A canvas is probably not the right. I owe you an update. The shop is teeming with all sorts of new projects and I haven't discussed any of them, but I will soon. I will soon. Don't forget about mopeds. This is Pete from Second Strike Mopeds saying, don't forget about mopeds. Don't forget about mopeds. See you next week.